flushing of the pit. Alright, we well can get it. How far is it in there? For? Um, it's about probably 30 feet. 30. 30 feet in there? Yeah. And you're just using the nozzle? Yeah, I'm using the nozzle. And uh, I'm at a stopping point here. Go so far before you end up on the, mm -hmm. on a corner. Yeah. And uh, what I'm looking for is flow. Why don't you just see, the, I see the flow coming in? Yeah, it's all going in that way. It's getting drawn in through the tube. Right. I guess it's coming out. What we're gonna do now is no, no, leave the water running. What? Oh, I want to see the flow. Yeah, well, what are you screwing on the pump for? I'm going to suck out some of the water yeah. and see the flow coming out both of these. Why are you going to do that? So I can see the water is clear. Well, okay. You, I don't think you understand the setup here. That pump is just auxiliary backup. Right. This you know, is the drain. That's the drain. That's what you need to be... You need to have a flat bar or something, sticking it down in there and twirling it around, really trying to get that water to flow. Because ideally, you want to get the water to the bottom of that horizontal stack that's sticking out. So when you've got flow, you can see that there's flow. Yeah, I can see the flow going in the pipe. Yeah, but it's not really sufficient. Where's your flat bar at? Flat bar's in the shop. Okay, hold on. Flushing this drain, we get our hose with the balloon attachment put down into this end of the drain, and we get the water coming out over here, which means that that, that water is going basically all the way around the basement over here. Right, all the way all around, all the way around here, okay, all the way around, come back out over here. And this is the cast iron trap that's tied into the sewer system that's draining the water down. And you see all the all the rusty gunk floaties.